what's up youtube so my instagram was disabled again and i waited for two weeks trying to recover it and first i repeated the same steps to recover my account i i contacted the facebook support email that i showed you guys on my other video so the first time it went by pretty smooth they held with me i didn't have to make any additional you know business pages like for meta facebook um that um strategy that most people have used on the youtube showing how they recovered their account speaking to a live agent i had no other choice and i did that as well but the first time it was disabled um i contacted this email when i filled out the form um on my other video i talked about it how i got instagram plus and then um when you log in you hit that request support thing you fill out a form it was on the instagram plus that's um like the only time they replied to me the first time um to show me to show them proof you know holding a piece of paper of your name username and the code that they sent you the first time they helped me recover but this time I tried everything. I tried contacting them. They just kept ignoring me. And I went through about seven Meta Pro chat a agents on the face on Facebook using, you know, your business account and contact and advertising support like most people did on the live chat. They made it so difficult. Not seven agents could help me. They just kept telling me to fill out the same forms that I filled out prior to contacting them, you know? So I tried six agents and then during Thanksgiving, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to contact them on Thanksgiving. Uh, so I waited a day after Thanksgiving was over because, you know, Thanksgiving, um, you know, help support isn't going to want to help you or anything during a holiday. So I didn't even bother because I was like so overwhelmed after I like before the day of Thanksgiving and the day before that I tried about four agents and then the next day I tried um, three more and then the last um, agent I spoke to his name was Earl I can show you guys like all the conversations I had with the Meta Pro agents and they weren't really helpful you know they just kept telling me to fill out the same form and my Instagram was just like disabled randomly the second time I did not post anything that violated any terms I'm 100% confident in that I filled out so much appeal forms I don't know why you know they even have those forms if they're, they're not even going to contact you if, when you fill them out you know what I mean and like what's the point of even hitting like the disagree with the decision button like they they suspended my account again randomly it was the night when i fell asleep on november 11th you know i was asleep i did not post anything the first time it happened was november 1st and then 10 days later they, they disabled it again and they didn't give me a valid reason so um the last chat i've had with the metapro agent on facebook and I paid money, you know, to open the business account. You have to pay for an ad, um, you know, to access the MetaPro chat. You have to post ads. You have to have a business account to access that chat. So I did that. So I basically like paid for nothing because that's the only reason why I cre even created the business account to contact the MetaPro agents. Get what I'm saying? Like most people have did on YouTube. So no luck. None of the agents helped me. I thought, whoa, since I got this chat, I'm probably going to get my account back. Nope, I was wrong. So the last um, agent I spoke to, his name was Earl, and he said, okay. Um, so I asked him, well, can I speak with someone else that may help me with this issue? He said, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this to my other team so they can, you know, investigate and review your your instagram account and see if we can get it back if you can get it back and then he sent me an, an email three hours later saying hey um so i spoke to the the instagram support team and they told and they said um they're going to have to 
keep their original decision to keep your account disabled. It can be restored. They did not give me a valid reason to why. Um, you know, Instagram support didn't even they didn't even reach me back on e either of my forms or emails or anything. They just ignored me, you know. And the agent Earl, he was just like, yeah, I spoke to them and they said they're not able to get your account back, that it's permanently disabled. They are going to stick with this decision and, and that's their final decision. And I was like, well, he did not even provide me the reason why, you know, why are they like, what's the point, you know? I feel like Earl, the agent on MetaPro, they didn't even want to like um, go d digger deeper into this. He probably just said that so, you know, I would leave them alone. And But it looks like I'm probably not going to get my account back. But um, I mean, I was like, I was polite. I was like, well, thank you, Earl, for letting me know that I'm not able to, you know, restore my account. Now I can stop contacting facebook support and instagram support and filling out all these appeal forms that do not work you know i, I thanked him i was like well thank you for at least uh, letting me know that i'm not able to get my account back but there's not a valid reason i did not violate any terms um i know the meta pro people are not at fault um i'm more mad at the instagram support people but i thought since i'm you know a paying customer uh, MetaPro would at least help me re restore my account, but no, nope, they didn't. So now I have another account. I made my account private because I think somebody just reported it. Maybe they had report. I seen videos of people reporting people's accounts, and it was t and it was t taken down without like a reason. Like I seen that it's possible to do that. So I made my account private now. And, you know, I'm not really um, putting in a lot of energy into my account, but this is just my experience with MetaPro. Um, if you guys are trying to, to recover your Instagram account, um, I just want you to avoid any disappointments because a lot of people lost their accounts and they reached out to MetaPro, went through the whole business page thing, paid for their ads to run and blah, 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 just to access that chat. The MetaPro chat, because that's the only way you're going to be able to access that MetaPro advertising contact. So you get to really speak to a real person, a live agent, is if you create a business page on Facebook and pay for the, for the ads you run. That's the only way. So most people were doing that. Um, so I seen a lot of videos. I was like really disappointed because a lot of people got their accounts back and I didn't. They did not help me. And, uh, you know, Instagram make so much money they make millions of dollars they can have like a better you know support support email or contact uh thing that you can contact no they they don't they ignore all your emails your form requests everything so i'm thinking like so if the agent earl on metapro told me yeah i spoke to the instagram support team and they're going to maintain their their original decision and your account was correctly disabled blah 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 and i'm like well why can't they just give me a valid reason what did i buy what did i violate if that's the case uh, instagram should email you saying your account has been disabled you're not able to get it back they didn't do any of that they just ignored my emails ignored all my form requests so um a lot of you guys that are like spending a lot of time on instagram posting your your pictures, your files, all that. And I even tried to access and download my files and they refused to give me the access to that because they have that service on Instagram. So um, if you guys are like spending a lot of time on Instagram, um, just um, just remember they can take your account down randomly because they've been doing that to a lot of people. So try to spend less time on Instagram because like, you're just wasting your energy because one day you can have your account and then the next day it can be randomly disabled. And I'm going to share um, the MetaPro chats with you if, if a lot of you are trying to recover your Instagram account. You know, don't get your hopes up because the agents are not as helpful as you think they are. I'll be sharing the chats I had with them and my screenshots. So stay tuned. 